Hey, what's up you guys? It is right again, and we are back here in Destiny, beginning, or continuing, rather, our playthrough of the Defender Titan, welcoming to the Bubble Dome, and we just made it to the tower, and we're gonna go meet our Vanguard, the Titan Vanguard, um, Commander Zahala, Zah Zahavala, sorry, my bad, but, yeah, I... <laughs> Honestly, this guy is one of the reasons that I would want to make an Awoken character just by how freaking awesome he looks. Like, I really, really want gear like he has in this game. But, yeah. This is just kind of our, our first moment in the tower, kind of going around, getting different stuff. Don't mind the Postmaster, I've not had a... Uh, I have not had the postmaster not give me something since I started the game, so I just kind of stopped igno or I started ignoring. But ooh, I get a new weapon. Hmm. I think I will go with a hand cannon, just because they are very, very satisfying in this game. Oh, a new weapon. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'll stick with that for now. It's, it has a very nice feel. Oh boy, I need to go get my shit filled. I'm glad I started this when this guy decides to start giving good stuff. <laughs> yeah, this is, um... <laughs> this playthrough will be going through after all of the... in-ground woes that Rao has unleashed upon the unsuspecting people, but... I don't know, I never really had too much issue with getting good stuff from him. Uh, I mean, sure, I had a lot of stuff that was downgraded, but... Usually when it counted, I didn't really have to worry about it too much. I mean, I would get good, I would get good gear from engrams that I got, which I, was, I would imagine I'm very, very fortunate for. But yeah, I never really, I never really had too much issue with him, though. <laughs> Unfortunately, at this point with the character I ha I'm at, um, a lot of the uh, stuff that I get from him, I have no real use for because I've got such ridiculously high gear stuff and. The only thing I'm really looking for is ridiculously high gear level stuff, so... Yeah, it's kind of a bittersweet moment, but... Alright. Hop into orbit real quick, and... <clears throat> go on our way to our next mission. I think... I think I know which one we're doing. Um, <laughs> a lot of the... Uh, oh, oh, hmm. I don't think I'm actually able to be a part of that, but, you know, whatever. But, and the crucible's already open, but, yeah. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> this will be an interesting place, or I'll say that much. Yeah, if you can't tell, I don't always make the best choices in games, but I figure, eh, might be worth a shot. <laughs> oh, I actually kind of like the coloring of my ship. I don't think that's the one I got when I first played the Warlock. It does look pretty good. But yeah, I like I kind of liked how they did with um, loading screens in this game, in that you don't really have like the loading bar and everything, it's just a beautiful expanse for you to look at while you quietly hover over in your ship and try to figure out how you're gonna approach this mission, but it is a nice touch. It kind of instead of having the separation of, you know, loading screen game, loading screen game, which does not really happen that often in this game you can you kind of still get immersed within the game while playing but okay <laughs> yes it's going to be interesting because i've not actually started the game on hard before so i don't know what kind of luck i'm going to have with it so we'll have to wait and see but yeah i feel pretty confident in myself i mean i've been playing this game for a little bit so figure I at least know somewhat of what I'm doing, but, pew, 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 pew. oh yeah, <laughs> as I kind of spray hopelessly all over that guy, which, don't take that the wrong way, yeah, grenade, yeah, for anyone who's wondering, I did switch my controls around, if you did notice that, I cannot do the, uh, the actual, like, 
I guess the bumpers on the uh, controller as the different like grenade and melee stuff, it just feels really weird and wrong to me. Boop. <laughs> Ever so slowly advancing. I don't know, I think something that's really nice about this game, I was talking about store earlier, but they leave just enough laying around to that you could start making your own guesses and you can start putting in your own story with the game. Which is something that is really cool to do with a game like this because there's so much that could be going on that we have no idea because the game has just started and Bungie's going to be all sneaky sneaky with their details, so <laughs> it'll be, you know, second, third game. There's a massive plot twist where we view the entire game differently afterwards, which I wouldn't mind too much. It'd be very exciting. But, yeah, it's it's fun to take a game and kind of make it your own in terms of trying to understand the story as well, so... I think that's one thing that'll make a game like this really fun, is that people don't really know what to think about it just yet. They don't know what's going on fully, so... Zip. Oh, so that's what that does. Hmm, sweet. Oh, I might have thrown out the wrong person. Mm -hmm. And... Nope. I wonder, can I go on a shotgun rampage? Boop. Dang, the Titan really has a nice right hook. Oh yeah, I can't double jump yet. <laughs> Yeah, I've been playing as a leveled character for a very long time. You take the little things for granted, like unlocking a new subclass for the first time is a little bit rough to get used to in terms of, oh hey, you have to learn everything all over again. Have fun. It's a little, it, it was a little frustrating, but at the same time, I like the way that they did it and that the um, rate of XP you get was actually much... I guess it was higher, or the rate that you unlocked things was much faster, too. So you didn't really have to worry about, you know, uh, spending all of your time lagging behind in terms of your character. You could just plop down and, I mean, go through one level and already have, you know, four or five abilities ready to go. And that is a really nice grenade. If I could just mm, kill my enemies. Feast on their flesh. Well, actually, I don't know if they have flesh. Or it might be a different material than flesh. <gasps> What's that? Sweet. I got new armor. And it's level 3. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Another thing you forget about in, a, in a, a game like this is that at one point, you can be under level for the stuff you've uh, acquired. And it's a little bit sad, but it, you know, it's always a state of growing. Oh, why does there have to be a chest up there? <sighs> mm. <laughs> You're a bastard. Bastard chest. <laughs> I just want the loot. And speaking of the chest, I actually was kind of... Er, I guess, I felt like the way that they were done in this game was, it did work pretty well. In that, a lot of them, like, I'm used to chests like uh, Borderlands and such, where it's so much loot in them and such. Like, you get all, so much from them. But, coming back to this game, and it's like, oh hey, you got some glimmer. And some upgrade material. Sweet. <laughs> it's... <laughs> It's a little bit saddening, but it's also fun at the same time. Like, you get used to appreciating the stuff that you find. And, oh wow, these guys actually are pretty harder to kill. Yeah, it would probably help if I shot my enemies. Nope. I am not dying. Where are you at, buddy? Zip. I don't think that's going to hit anyone. Nah, hit no one. Dang. Oh, wait, what? I don't know what that was about, but okay. I'll take it. 
I probably should have saved that grenade. Dang it. Oh, this guy. Hey, buddy. Nah, we're not going to get along, are we? Uh, that moment of shield gate whenever you uh, scramble around crazily to survive. And yes, I'm very bad for shooting at a spot where I think an enemy is repeatedly for a very long time. Just because I think it'll do something. I, I didn't like that about the uh, a lot of the weapons that the Fallen have, is that they just curve around corners to get you. It honestly feels a little cheap at times, but you know. Mm. Needlers are such a thing, and I would hate to see needlers show up in this game, so I suppose I'll cut my losses at having bullets that can follow you around a corner if they are angled right. Not more enemies. Go away. Go away. I just want to advance plot and move on. And that was something else that I found myself being okay with with this game, was that I wasn't really too upset. Well, I'm very much used to uh, doing a lot of story-based games. And not really being, like, big on multiplayer stuff. And this game actually has helped me to be more multiplayer-esque, I suppose. Like, because it's such an important part of the game. But it's... It's been interesting just to see... How much fun it can be. Would you just get over here so I can kill you? No! Give me your ammo. Your ammo. Ammo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nom 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 nom. Alright, moving on. And dead. Yes. <gasps> a, <laughs> a green encrypted engram. That's something I've not seen in a very long time. <laughs> and I can... Ooh, I can put this on too. Sweet. It actually is less. Hmm. Well, that's disappointing. Hmm. Oh, well. <laughs> I completely forgot that uh, green engrams were a thing in this game. Or that encrypted green engrams were a thing. But, oh well. But yeah, I think that's going to do a good point to stop at. I um, want to thank everyone for watching again. Um, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. Um, let me know if there's anything you want me to do with this series once I'm done with the whole story progression and such. But as always, I want to thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.